Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about another problem from lead code. The problem name is reverse prefix of a word. So as you can see that you are given a zero index string, which you can see here word and you're also given a character CH. Now you have to reverse the segment of this particular word that starts from the zeroth index, but ends at the first occurrence of the CH character in the word. Okay, so as you can see that you have given this string and I have to first find out what is the first occurrence of D in this string from left to right. So as you can see that here is the first occurrence of D that is here. Now you have to flip the whole string from the zeroth index to D. So you just have to flip out this whole section and just print out the particular answer. That's nothing much difficult here. But as you can see that if there is no uh, character that is CS present inside this whole word, then you don't have to do anything. Okay, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do any reversal. But if there is a particular character, then you have to just flip out till the first occurrence. So it's also pretty much simple because the concept are much smaller and you don't have to do anything much. You have to first find out where is this particular first occurrence is okay you have to first uh, just do a for loop over this whole string and find out the first occurrence of this character ch in this particular word that is given to you whenever you find out the first occurrence you just have to use the reverse function by c plus plus or you can write on your own custom reversing algorithm just to just reverse out a particular segment now there are multiple uh, options you can do that i can use the reverse uh, you can say uh, uh, function provided by c plus plus but what you could have also done is that the simple way to just reverse out a particular uh, section of string. Let's just take an example of uh, let's just take an example of A, B, C, D, E, and F. And you have to just flip out or reverse a segment of this. So what you can do is that you will first flip out the outermost and then go one step in the left hand side and one step on the right hand side. So you have to now, now flip out these two characters. So which means that you have to just do a for loop. Okay, so let's just take an example of A, B, C, C, D, A, B. You have to just flip out this whole string. So you have to first flip out the outer two characters. Then you have to flip out the inner two characters and the other inner two characters. And then the last character, it will not be flipped. So if we just flip out this, this will come to this, so which is B and A. These two are flipped, so which is like A and B. This two are flipped, so which is like D and C and this stream and C. And this is how you can flip out the whole string. So you will just have to go till the middle of this string, whatever string you have to flip and just flip this character and the last character, second character, and second last character and so on. This is the one of one way you can write down the custom implementation to flip out a particular segment of when a particular string, but you can have also used the reverse function by C++. So let us move on to the code part to how just do that. So you have to first store, let's say where this particular index is. So just make a variable index, just read over this whole particular string and find out the first occurrence of the ch break out and find out the occurrence now you just have to understand that you will only reverse if there is the index like this particular character is present okay if it is not present you will not flip so if it is present then this particular index value will be changed it will be storing out that where is this particular character if it is not storing that value it will still remain minus one because i've initialized with minus one this will only be changed if i find out the particular character if i find it out then only so which means that the index is not equal to minus one if the index is not equal to minus one which means which means that i have find out the occurrence of ch in this particular word then only i will reverse so i will reverse out this reverse function what it does is that let's say you have to give out pointers from which point to which one you want to reverse this particular string. So reverse dot string, as you can see, this function takes words dot begin. Okay. So you have like this word, if you use word dot begin, it, it will give you a pointer to the first character, like the first zeroth index of this string. Now you have the index, let's say I. Okay. So let's say this is the first character index. Let's say this is, I'll just give it, let's say PTR. Okay, this is the pointer. Okay, now you have to get this particular pointer. You can use pointer arithmetic. So if you just add i to it, i, you will get this particular index. But you have to get i plus one index to just reverse out all the parts. So what I'm trying to do is that you will first give the starting pointer of this particular function in this reverse function, which is word dot begin. And then because you know that the next character I want to reverse till is word begin plus i, that is this index. But you have to give one like one also because you have to encapsulate this character ch also because inclusive this is also inclusive so you have to add one also for that and use reverse out that particular segment that you want to reverse as a prefix and that's it just put on the total the new word that's it that's the overall logic and the code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention on in the coin box of this particular video i will see you in the next one till keep coding and bye